Okay, hey folks, Mark Locklear here. Uh, today's screencast is going to be on chapter 15, uh, GUI programming and uh, developing a form. I think what we're going to do is uh, just build a very simple application that is um, that's essentially going to act like a calculator. I think all we'll do is just have two numbers there and we'll take and add those numbers up. Before we actually do any coding, uh, uh, Big change this week on the submission. When you submit your code, I need the entire folder structure and all of the files and folders within that um, within the, within the application. Up to this point, you've only been submitting your um, .java files, and so I need the entire folder structure. So, for instance, I just like these. Uh, the last form I created or the the project I created was. I didn't give give it a name. I just use the default name, so Java Application 30. But I need all of these this build fold this build folder NB Project uh, SRC. I need all these build and manifest files too. And then of course your dot, your your dot Java, and then there's going to be a form a dot form file that's in there too. But I need the entire folder structure. So for each of these applications, you've got two or three uh, that you're submitting this week. You know you're going to choose the the, uh, the the root folder for each one of those applications and then zip all all three of those up into a, a single zip file and submit those okay all righty so let's talk about GUI programming so this is kind of the fun part of Java and you know in a way I'd, I'd like to cover this earlier in the class but I think it, you know this is going to build a lot of code for you and I think the you know the goal of the class is for you to learn Java syntax and focus on classes and those 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 type things and learn object oriented programming. And the idea is now that you've kind of done the hard work, this this does some of the uh, some of the infrastructure and the plumbing for you. But you still need to understand the code, and so that's that's why we don't cover this until uh, until the end of the the course. Um, so let's just jump right in. So I'm going to create a new project here. And what I'm going to do is uh, it's going to be a new job application. And notice that we don't create a main class here. So I'm going to uncheck this create main class. And I'm going to say finish. And then I'm going to go into my default package. I'm going to right click there and I'm going to say a new JFrame form. In this case I'm going to call it uh, uh, calculator and then I can say finish alright so this is sort of what our um, sort of what our palette is going to look like here right and we've got so just to orient you this is sort of our, our palette our design palette where we're going to be placing um, placing design objects at and then over here you notice we've got uh, this palette tab and the, these are all of the uh, these are all of the controls that we can add to our palette so again what we're going to be building here is it's just a very simple application that's going to enter allow the user to enter two numbers on the screen and then they've got they'll have a calculate button and it'll just add those two numbers up so let's just begin building that so what I'm going to do that is that I'm going to add a couple three labels here so you notice I'm just clicking and dragging off over to the side here and then I'm going to add a few uh, text fields so beside each one of those so notice a couple of things that we've got going on here notice that as we drag these objects over these containers or controllers over notice the little grid lines pop up so that's just sort of a nice again use it the, the IDE is helpful in sort of lining things up and visually um, visually lining boxes up and just making them look nice and then the final thing we'll do is add a button here I'll sort of put it in line there okay so we've got a very basic palette here we've got three labels uh, three text fields and then we've got a button and in fact I can go ahead and run this now let's run it now and see what we see the first time you run this you'll get this uh, this kind of um, this warning that you don't have a main class you should just be able to cl click OK there and then notice what we've got here we've got a uh, we've got a, an application and we see just 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 what we saw on our palette we're seeing inside the box here we've got the labels we've got these fields and we can actually click in there and enter text 
and then we've got this button and notice the button is a clickable button but of course it doesn't do anything right now so we'll start to kind of flesh that out as we move forward so let's go back in now and let's let's fix uh, some things and start to add just, um, just add, add add more context to our our application first thing let's fix the names on these labels these labels obviously aren't very descriptive so the way we look at the properties of these uh, different labels and text boxes, or really anything that you have in this area, is you click on this Properties tab, and you've got a couple things. Uh, you've got a you've got Properties binding, e events, and code. We'll, primarily, we'll just be looking at Properties and code. Um, so in this case, just to change the label, we want we're just going to enter uh, first number, second number. And then we'll enter uh, we'll, we'll enter sum down at the bottom. So on this first label, we're just going to change the actual label name, and we'll just call it first number like that. And notice how it changes it on the label. So I'll click down on the next one, and then we'll call this one second number. And then finally, this last box is going to be our sum. So we'll call that sum and hit enter. Okay, so notice things are kind of out of line now, but of course we can easily uh, line those back up. And again, the, the uh, ID is helpful in that it gives us these grid grid lines to sort of line th things up. Okay, so we've got those. Uh, th this uh, the text inside these boxes is not very applicable, so we'll we'll remove that. In fact, rather than put anything at all, we're just going to blank those out. So I can click in there and just backspace, and all I'm doing is uh, backspacing and then just hitting enter to actually save it. Now notice it 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 shrank those boxes down, so let's let's go ahead and open them back up some, and I'm just kind of using the GUI to drag these boxes open. Okay, so that's starting to look better, and then finally on our button here, uh, let's put the calculate as the text that we'll use on those buttons. Okay, that looks good. So now the idea, and again, we can run this again just to look and see what we have. And now notice, yeah, this is looking a little better. We've got first number, so we can enter something like two, and then we could enter three here. And then the idea is um, we would hit calculate, and then it's gonna give us a sum in this box. Of course, the calculate button doesn't do anything yet, so we need to add that functionality in, okay? So the next thing we need to do is we need to add variables. I mean, we just changed the names on these labels, but we haven't we haven't done anything to these act these text boxes here. Uh, so let's go in and do that. Now the way we'll do that is uh, we'll click on the box and then we'll go to code, and then notice there's a variable name um, associated with that text box, and so that's where we're going to do something like uh, we'll call this one we'll call this one first number like that. And then the idea here is when we reference these boxes, we're going to use these variable names to reference them. So we'll call this one second number. And then this box is going to be simply sum. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be helpful. Now, really at this point, we don't need to do anything else uh, with these text boxes. Everything else is going to be focused on this calculate button. And in fact, notice, I want you to see that uh, we can go over, so we're on the design uh, area right now. Notice we can click on source, and that actually shows us the source code. And this is the actual Java code. Now, there, there's no magic going on here. We could actually go in and create a project from scratch and actually write this code, but essentially what the what NetBeans has done for us is it's produced this code for us and then this should somewhat make sense to us right we've used these things before we've got a public class calculator here it extends so it ex extends this Java uh, this Java X swing J frame class uh, we've got a constructor here and uh, and it, it's calling some other methods so all, all of these things should s sort of make, make sense to us okay so now if we go back to the design tab and also notice you can double click on a particular uh, on a particular property or object in this and it'll take you to that area of the code. So for instance, if I double click on the calculate button, then that, that brings me over to the, uh, the, the area of the code where um, the area of the code that's associated with the calculator button. So now I'm going to just paste some code in here um, and we'll just kind of walk you through it. 
So what we got going on here? So what we've done is <clears throat> we're creating a couple of different variables here. Notice we're creating a, a variable for each one of our boxes. We're creating a variable um, for first num, second num, and then the sum box. Now, of course, we already have variables assigned to those, but if you'll notice what we're doing here is for, for the purposes of this uh, calculate button, we, we sort of need a temporary placeholder. So, for instance, we create a variable called, a variable called I'm just calling it num1 for, for the first number. Uh, so, uh, num1 it's going to be a double and then I'm calling the parse double method and now notice what I'm doing here I'm doing this first number dot get text and all that says is hey go go to uh, for the, the variable first number which in this case remember we we put the variable first number on, on this one see the variable name is first number so it's just saying hey go to first number and get get the text from that box now and again remember this is all based on the cal calculate button so this is this idea of event handling or when a particular event happens then okay we want to we want to perform th this code so that's what's happening in, the, in this case the event is the calculate button is being clicked and what we're saying is when the calculate button is clicked uh, go to the the go 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 to variable first number and get the text from there I've got, uh, I'm creating another variable called num2. Hey, go to second number and get the text that, that's there. And then uh, this should be really straightforward. I'm just, I'm creating a variable called num3 and I'm adding num1 and num2. And then I'm just doing some for formatting on this double. So I'm creating this uh, a new number for format here. And then notice I'm doing sum.setText. So remember, uh, this third box here is, uh, we this third box, we added the variable sum to it. So I'm saying uh, sum.setText. So I'm saying set the text of the sum box with uh, the variable num3. Okay. So let's see, uh, let's run this and see what we get, okay? So here's our box. We can enter two here, we can enter three here, and then if we hit calculate, notice we get five here. And I'm just, I'm happy to do it. I'm doing a currency full format here, which may or may not be uh, applicable, but we could go in and change the format based on uh, whatever the requirements for the application were, okay? So in a nutshell, that's really, you know, that that's, that's the basics of GUI programming and using swing in Java um, again notice on this palette we've got a bunch of stuff we can do here I mean we can create a button group and drop that on um, let's see let's try check checkbox we can create a checkbox you know we could add, add that and again if I run this you know notice our check box is here now we can check and un uncheck so uh, again a really a convenient way I mean you can imagine if you had to go in and actually write the code for all of these these things uh, it, it you know this really speeds your uh, development up also notice for each one of these you know all of the little things that are associated and think about the GUI and desktop programs you've used all the little things that are associated with uh, you know whether the default is for this box to be checked or un unchecked that you know if, if you check this box does this text change all of these um, all, all of these properties are set inside here and you notice for each one of these you can click and you've got a ton of just little bits and pieces that you can do same thing with properties here uh, you've got a ton of, of different settings you know vertical uh, uh, alignment if, if there's a hint associated with it all of these things are set in, inside here okay okay so I think that's all I've got uh, if you have any questions let me know thanks